Hi, this is AWS ECS Terms Explain. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to cover the ECS terms that you're going to need to know if you're working with uh, AWS ECS. Uh, the terms are task definition, task, service, cluster, and container instance. So when I was first introduced to these terms, I was also watching a presentation that presented it in laundry list fashion. So imagine trying to learn something new for the first time and then somebody gives you a dictionary of terms. It's um, a little bit difficult to learn that way, at least for me. So I'm gonna try to do this with a diagram. All right, so this diagram is also contained in this blog post right here, which is, is linked right there. Okay, so we're gonna go from outside going in. So at the outside, there's an ECS cluster. So an ECS cluster is a logical grouping of container instances. It's just a logical grouping of container instances. And an ECS cl cluster can have many container instances. It can have only one, or it can have as many as you, you want. All right, and in this diagram, there are two container instances. So what is a container instance? A container instance is simply a vanilla EC2 instance, except with three things on it. So there's the ECS agent installed on the container instance. Docker is also installed. And lastly, it's registered to an ECS cluster. So a container instance belongs to ECS cluster. It needs those three things, and those three things by definition makes a regular EC2 instance a container instance. Okay, the next one is an ECS service. So an ECS service, you can see it right here, it spans multiple container instances. And an ECS service is a long running process, basically. You can have a web service or you can have a worker service. It's just a process that you want to keep running for a long time. All right, and that spans multiple container instances. So you can think of that like a web application or worker application, okay? And then the next thing, the smallest box here is a task, so an ECS task. So I didn't show in this diagram, but there's an ECS task definition. So the definition is what makes this task. That task definition is the blueprint that makes this task. So a task is an instance of that task definition. And here in this diagram, we have four running tasks. So those four running tasks, one way you can think about it is, is just the Docker container. Uh, the task definition defines how you want that Docker container to be ran. So it defines what Docker image you want to use, how much CPU shares maybe, and uh, how much RAM to allocate for that Docker container. So that's what a task is. So those are all the terms. Okay, hopefully you guys found that helpful. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and share it with your friends to encourage more content like this. If you guys have any questions or any other video suggestions, just comment below. If you need any DevOps help, check out Bull Ops. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.